It's chopper time, baby. I don't know, some like that. Welcome to Sick Baggers YouTube channel. I'm Steve, and today I've got something very cool to show you. I have had my eyeball on this line for a very long time, and I'm absolutely stoked to have it here on the table today to be able to show you. Today we're going to be installing some floorboards, brake pedal, and shifter pegs on the 15 Heritage back here. Now these products are all from JH Choppers. When I first got into the bagger scene probably around seven years ago, I found Joel over at JH pretty quick. I'm in Southern Illinois and he's uh, just a little bit north of me, also kind of considered Southern Illinois. Uh, I've never met Joel, but we talked several times. I've always looked at his products and I've seen a lot of his products on some of the baddest baggers on the market. This guy has been in just all kinds of magazines and you could always tell his line when you see his stuff. Every time I see his stuff, I immediately know it's JH Chopper stuff. He's got some very cool stuff. One of the super cool things that I think that he does is he offers this line in just about every accent piece that goes on the bagger or the soft. So if you're like me and you're kind of anal about having everything match on your bike at the end of the day, and I've talked about this in some of my past videos about uh, getting a new bike or a new to you bike and you don't really have a plan on which way you want to go it a lot of the guys will say well it's uh, my bike's part chrome and part black so I'll, I'll probably just do contrast cut and then a couple of months later down the line they've got a, a few chrome pieces they've got a few black pieces and contrast cut and the bike it's just not complete. It just doesn't look complete to me. That's just my own personal opinion. Uh, but I like to have all of my accent pieces try to match. And that's one of the cool things that he does is he takes that design and he puts it on just about every single accent piece that you can put on the bike. The boards, the brake pedals, shift levers, uh, dash inserts, uh, you know, the saddlebag latches, everything. So check out his website. Like I said, I've been watching this guy for a very long time. Joel started out a long time ago building choppers, hence the name Jay's Chopper. But uh, he switched over, got a CNC machine, and uh, he's put himself on the map with all of these products, definitely in the uh, bagger world. But that's one thing that we were talking about uh, before we got this, is this stuff, a lot of this stuff will actually fit on the soft tail. Today, we're going to be doing the front floorboards, like I said, the brake pedal and the shifter knobs. And it's, but I did want to talk about the product a little bit more before I actually put it on the bike. And one of the reasons why I'm kind of just so stoked to get the product and put it on the soft tail on a cholo build. All of the products that he makes are CNC cut from 6061 T6 aluminum. Basically, that just means that the aluminum was uh, heat treated, it was quenched, and then it was cooled, and then it was actually aged. That just makes the properties of the aluminum super tough, which makes it great for making Harley Davidson parts. Now, the shorter boards, the performance boards, they're generally pushed for the soft tail or cholo builds. If I take this board and I set it up here on the stock board, you're only a couple inches longer just in the base back here in this point than your stock board. And the Performance Plus bores, which are quite a bit longer, if we set that up there, you can see that's about five to six inches longer. But I was completely torn because on both baggers, I have really long floorboards, and I've just that's just kind of what I've gotten used to riding with. We're going to put one on the left side, and we're going to put one on the right side, and we're going to try it out. We're going to look at it and see which one we like the best, and then we're going to put the other ones on. By the way, this is called the Chromeo design. So brake pad, same thing, Chromeo design on here, all CNC cut, nice, hefty chunk. But like like I said, check out his website because he has all of this stuff in all of the accent pieces that you can do on your bike. So like I said, if you're like me and you want everything to match, he has just about everything that you can think of over there with this design or this pattern on it. And you can, of course, get it in black contrast cut, but he also does custom stuff as well. Remember, it's a CNC machine, so you can do a lot of stuff with that if you know how to run it, and Joel definitely knows how to run that stuff. So a couple of years ago, we had him make us a custom center stand plate. If you've ever had a kickstand or kickstand puck, it's the same idea, but for a center stand. You got two legs that come down when you set the bike down. If you've ever parked on gravel or a soft ground, which we have found ourselves a couple of times in that in that position and we couldn't use the center stand because we were afraid the bike was going to sink we had joel make up this center stand plate right here as you can see we just put this in the saddlebag we keep ours in the tour pack up in the top uh, wife gets off the bike slides it under the bike let the center stand down air the bike out and it sets on this aluminum plate this thing has been used and abused I sent Joel my sick bagger logo and he actually engraved it on here after it was powder coated and like I said we've had this for I don't know probably four years and it's 
been used a lot so very cool that he makes stuff like this as well one other kind of cool novelty thing that joel made us a couple years ago was these little handles and i'm not sure how this came up i saw him post one of these on facebook one day and i was like man i gotta have one of those so it's pretty cool this little aluminum handle it's got the jay's choppers and some flames on the side of it and you may ask yourself man what would you use that for you just simply take it hook it to the top of one of your favorite adult beverages push in the bottom then you got now you got a really cool little can holder what it's after five o'clock probably the bolts for the shifter pegs are going to be quarter inch the bolts for the pads that go on the bottom of the floorboards are going to be a 3 16 and then the two bolts for the brake pad itself are going to be a 5 30 second so you will need access to those three tools so when we put these shifter pegs on we are going to be leaving those on so we'll add a little blue loctite to those and the brake pad as well i would also add blue loctite to the bolts that go in the bottom of the floorboard but right now we're still trying to decide which ones we want to run if we want to run the short or the long so for right now i'm only going to install two of these on one two of these on the other without the blue loctite until we see what we want so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get these shifters out of the way they're a quarter inch and a lot of times from the factory they'll have some red loctite on there which i think is a little bit overkill blue loctite will do just the same now loosen get these out of the way ah yeah there it is it some red loctite on there we're going to take our new bolt go ahead and put it through the shifter apply some blue loctite there i don't like to start these with any kind of ratchet go ahead and start them by hand make sure we don't cross thread them when we get to that last turn we're going to go ahead and put the shifter about where we think it should be slightly tilted for me i don't like them flat I'll hold it in place torque that down same with the rear slightly tilted towards my foot now right here underneath the floorboard you're going to see two bolts one on each end like i said very easy get your allen wrench slide it in there you're going to have to check yours depending on what your bike is to uh, see which bolts that you have flip the floorboard up pull that last bolt out and that floorboard will come right off there now if you want to know the torque specs on your bike i highly advise especially if you're going to be doing any wrenching on your bike get a service manual for your bike you don't have to buy the 150 dollars book from harley davidson you can jump online and generally just about every model of harley davidson has a online pdf version of the service manual which is completely different than your user manual user manual just kind of tells you about the bike service manual is going to tell you how to work on it it's going to give you like step-by-step -step instructions on how to change things torque specs for everything and that's what's most important so we're going to flip the right side board over we're going to grab our bracket if you remember this goes to the inside of the bike this curve so we want to mount these like this we want that outside edge going out the bottom of the bracket has a recessed edge for your bolt heads to go in and a flat edge so make sure you put the flat edge down and go ahead and put a bolt through like i said we're not loctiting these just yet because i'm not sure which ones i want to put on there i'm going to start these by hand Now we're gonna grab the left side performance XL board. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna go ahead and just mount them in the middle. And as you can see, there's different mounting points for these depending on where you want them. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna shoot for right in the middle on this one because it is a lot bigger board, but you can move these around. We're gonna grab our right side board. We're gonna slip it up into place. Get our front bolt in. Go ahead and get our nut started. Slide our rear bolt in. Going ahead and get our nut started. Now I'm not gonna even torque these down yet just because I wanna see the difference in what they look like. Let's move over to the other side of the bike and change the brake pad, which we know is staying, and then throw on the other floorboard. Now our soft tail came with this rubber brake pad that slides on over the brake pedal. Now if you've ever messed with one of these and tried to get one of these off without completely just destroying it or cutting it off, this thing will make you make up 14 new cuss words in 10 minutes. So I have already taken the time to save some time and got this 
popped off of the first little groove. Once you get it off of that, you still have to do a lot of pushing and pulling, but you'll eventually get this guy off there. Once you get it off, that's it. So you can see on the back of the new brake pad, it is cut out right here. It stands up. That goes down in that hole. This is pretty simple. Only goes on one way. We have a chrome backing plate and of course our bolts. Once again, little blue Loctite on the bolt through the backing plate. Just kind of hold that into place and go ahead and get that one hand started. Same thing on this guy. You go over here to the front side and make sure that it's straight does not take a whole lot of torque to put those on. Just snug them down tight with that blue Loctite and you'll be set. So I pushed it outside there and did a little walk around. Hopefully that showed you what it looked like on the bike. I'm still very, very torn between the Performance XL and the Performance boards. I want you to let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think we should stay with the longer boards or the shorter board? So on the Performance boards, the bigger ones over here is gonna be an 18 by six. Over on the other side, you got a 15 and a half by five. That's the difference on those. And as far as the fitment goes, you got a wide variety of bikes that these fit. The Touring models, 1980 all the way up to present, soft tail models if they're equipped with floorboards they'll fit an 86 to 17. those things look sick so if you're in the market for floorboards and you don't want something that everybody else has get up with joel over at jay's shoppers i've waited a very long time to finally have a project that we can use some of joel's stuff on and uh, it was absolutely worth the wait i love the way these things look you want to get your hands on a set of these go over to jayshoppers.com go over and look at all the other stuff that he has too because like i said he has all kinds of matching stuff in that series so check everything out on the website prices are on point if you have any questions you know the deal comment section down below also down below let me know what size boards that we should keep on the cholo i'm gonna get out of here and get myself back to work i hope to see you in the next video but until then as always be safe keep your knees in the breeze Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe popping up over here. And don't forget to check out the rest of the channel because we have a ton of bagger related and soft tail videos on our channel. And to get you started, maybe you can check out this one or this one. I'm not really gonna say anything else. You can just click one of those and take it over to another video.